strange looking man appeared to her. And so it happened overnight. Gladys did become famous. Of course, nobody had ever seen the gold. But through the but through the PR man, it appeared in all the papers, and people believed it. All of us, everybody, even the king. And so Gladys appeared before the king. And the king left her to her task. And with those words, the little man spun the entire room of Shaw into gold. So Gladys read the fine print, and there said in black and white that her firstborn child must go with the little man. Well, about a year afterward, a beautiful child was born to the king and queen. So Gladys laid a maid on him. It was the wrong one. She spent all that day thinking of the names she could, but none of them were right. And the second day went just like the first day, and when it ended, Gladys was in despair. Just then, a knock was on. There, just then, there was a knock on the door. It flung open to reveal a very round man dressed as a town crier. So the next day when the little man appeared again, the queen said, And so the king and queen lived happily ever after, and Rumbo Stilska was never seen in the kingdom again. There were several reports concerning a young girl who could make diamonds out of turnips in another kingdom. But you can't believe everything the paper, everything you read in the paper. Fantastic job. Come on out, guys, and take a bow. Everybody on stage, come on out. Make a big line. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Here we go. Let's bow together. One, two, three. Yay, nice job. Today's, this period was a little funny, and you'll find out why it was a little funny very soon, but thank you so much for your patience. Have a great day, and period three, do me a favor, put everything away. If you borrowed it from us, don't go to the costume room, put it back in that box I gave you, put it on a table in my room, clean everything up, and have a seat in the front row. Go ahead.
let's do it.